I don't know. People just assume that skateboarding is for men because it's so gnarly. Like, no, no, no. Like, skateboarding's for everybody. Everybody can skate. At the time, it was just like, like I was on the bus going to a skate park. I'd see another girl and I'd like get off the bus and be like, who are you? <laughs> you know? Now, there's always girls at the skate park. Well, yeah, so this week we've got Una Farrar and Annie Guglia out here in Vancouver. Both are very, very talented individuals and uh, pretty good friends of mine. Una, I like her trick selection. Like, if I could be Una, I'd be happy. <laughs> I like her style. Annie, she's a good skater. She's really good at skating contests. When the pressure's on, she's able to put it down, for sure. I feel like Maddie's one of those like multi-action women. <laughs> you know, it's just like learning a trick a day, pretty much. I remember that day. Yeah. Mimi's day. I know. Okay. That's the day we met. You know, like, I think everyone, like, to me, they're legends because they are paving the way for women in the future. And, like, the experience that the new generations are going to have are going to be better. Photography as a whole, it's male-dominated. And same for skateboarding. You look at a magazine and it's 100% men most of the time. When I first like got into the skate contest scene, first place for men's was like five grand and then the women's got like nine hundred dollars. Even if we're talking about shoes, there's no women pro model. It's hard to get shoes and boards that fit for for women. It makes it harder just to access skateboarding. My dad is a pro skater, my mom skates too, and that's just kind of been like a huge theme of my life. But I never really got into it because of like the pressure of being a young girl at the skate park. <laughs> right now we are in a state where we are doing our own thing. We've done our own scenes, our own videos, our own magazines, our own events, because we didn't have the support. There was such a big lack of women representation in traditional medias. Now with social media though, it's helping people have access to inspiration as much as they want. I feel like a lot of women, like in general, they just like want to see other people doing it. Having social media and having people to look up to and seeing people working for their tricks too, it's really amazing. that the representation of women skating needs to come from like everywhere. It's really important to see yourself skating um, and to see yourself represented. If I didn't see people like me, then I mean, it would be a less welcoming space. Having a safe space that you can enter where you know that you're gonna be accepted and people are gonna support you and accept you just for who you are is really dope and it's amazing to see how those safe spaces are coming about right now. I did a count the other day and it was like over 25 skate crews in Canada alone from East Coast all the way over. It's relatable, it's accessible because you see people at your level and you feel more comfortable approaching them like how did you do that? And like, it kind of empowers you to feel like I can do that too. It's amazing to be surrounded by such talented people and people that are doing so much for the skateboarding scene in general. Like what Rosie's got on with Nations and stuff. We really just want to get out there and empower Indigenous youth to get more skate parks in the communities. It's really important because we're bringing up topics of like 
You know, be proud of who you are. Be proud of where you come from. There's a place for you in skateboarding, no matter who you are, where you're from, what you look like, how old are you. That's the cool thing about skateboarding. We all get the same feeling. Skateboarding, it teaches you so much about yourself and it teaches you so much about the process of growing and struggling through something. When you get that at the end and you watch yourself succeed, to teach young girls that you can do that, it's just the most empowering thing. We're starting to see a lot more opportunity open up for women, but there's definitely still work to be done to have everybody included. I feel like the Olympics really help for that equality because a gold medal for men and for women is worth the same thing. But obviously there's still work to do. Seems like a really cool project. You see like groups of people like playing basketball or like at the skate park, like even if they're not skaters walking by here and seeing this. And even if there's no girls at the park, they can see that women are skating and women are skaters and they skate different kinds of stuff. Should we go skate? I think we should probably skate. <laughs> It's a really tight community that shows how much everything's grown and how much we are connected. It's a crazy thing to think about. I mean, it's already like come so far that it's cool to think about where we're going to be in a few years. For me, I like to see as many people as possible on skateboards. The more opportunities there are, it's just better. Yeah, sick.